Hi, my name is Noel Davis with World Composting, and today we're going to do an update on our African Nightcrawler bin that has been with, made with hamster bedding. So this is used hamster bedding, and I've been running this through my system, and this system was doing really well at the beginning, and it sort of fell off a cliff very quickly, where the worms were not doing very well, it was overheating a little bit, and I'm hoping that we can bring it back, but I think also I'm going to wind down this system. I think I'm still going to do that. We're not going to add any more bedding to the system, we're going to just try to get the food that is in there, or this bedding material, to be consumed by these worms, these African night crawlers, and we're going to move on from there. And probably move these worms to a new system and clean out this tote and maybe restart it with something else or do something else with it. But with that, we are definitely going to wind down this system over the next uh, month or two as I try to make sure that they've consumed all the food in it primarily, but also as we harvest it and send this stuff out the door. So with that, let's take a look at the system and see how it's doing. All right, here's our African night crawler tote with the hamster bedding. Our last update was on 6-1. Today is the uh, 15th, so 14 days later or two weeks. Our last feeding was almost at this point a month ago, and that's going to be the last feeding we're going to add as far as real food. We might add in some other things, but not food. So with that, let's go ahead and take a look. I just want to say there's a cobweb over here in this corner, in this upper corner over here. Actually, let me zoom this down just a little bit like that so you can see a little better. Um, this system, I think, uh, let me turn up the light just a little bit. Uh, this system, I think, has been having a lot of issues with um, some sort of fungus gnat or fruit fly or something. It's, oh, it's not fruit fly, but it's a fungus gnat or something else. And I think it's really what's been causing an issue. And actually, there's a couple of them flying out right over here. I don't know if I can get them. Nope, I can't. They flew away. Uh, but it's been it's been having a lot of issues with that. And I feel that this system, that's why I really want to start winding the system down. You can look at this material. It doesn't look very good. It's really stuck on the, this bag. But it just doesn't look very healthy, this system. And that's why I'm going to wind it down, or at least part of the reason why. I also don't feel I can really run two systems with this bedding material. Now, if we're going to dig in here, we're going to just take a look and see how things are. I'm seeing a lot more bugs come out of here. Hopefully, they'll go over towards my traps. But you can see in here, the worms in here look pretty small. It's kind of dry. It looks a little better than what it was, but this material is still, it's not breaking down. The African night crawlers are really small in here. I was going to say, did I just see a cocoon? But maybe not. I just don't think this, this system is doing all that great, and I don't want to just keep adding stuff to it or food to it and make this worse. So as you can see, it's really kind of clumping together, this material. It doesn't break apart very well. It's almost... I mean, it's just really kind of, uh, I don't know, it's just not, it's not, it's not good. <laughs> this isn't how your material should look. It should really flake apart. It should be smaller pieces. The worms are working at it. They do look a little better than they did the last time we updated it. But uh, this definitely is not how I want the system to look. Uh, you know, I think these worms are, are able to withstand it, but they're not healthy, you know, or as healthy as they could be. But it looks like they are working through a lot of material. We still definitely have some material in here. As you can see right here, this material is still not digested fully. So we're going to have to keep this going a little longer. I'd like to see it a little bit more digested. But there are quite a few worms in here still. Just not the big monsters that we were seeing when we first started the system. They were doing so well. And I think that that's, uh, that sort of has come to pass now. But we are, I think, going to add some stuff in here to try to kind of break this apart a little bit, make it maybe a little bit nicer material at the end, because this is also going to be really hard to use in my yard. Um, I don't really have a garden going on right now, and uh, I don't have anywhere to really put this, so I might have to dig up some of my yard and maybe put this in the yard, but I'd like to see something that's a little bit more a little bit more granular so you can kind of spread it a little bit, which would be nicer. So let's just kind of mix this up a little bit as we were doing here. Oh, here we go. The, this I don't expect to break down. That's a that's a chew stick that somehow got left in there. And actually, if you can see on there, it looks like there's mites. I don't know if it's just focusing or not, but it looks like there's mites on there. So we'll leave that in there. I mean, that, that can go into the yard as well. I'm not too worried about that. I'm not seeing as many. I thought there'd be more bugs. Actually, here we go. If we can get these right here. You can see them kind of crawling along here, these these bugs. I don't know what they are. They look like fungus gnats a little bit, but they're, they don't quite... They're not, they're not dying from BTI or anything, so I don't know what's going on. I don't know what these are, really. I'm just kind of, sort of crushing them right now. But I saw a whole bunch of them kind of come out of the system when I first opened it, or took it off the shelf, I should say, and then they've been crawling up these sides consistently. So, we can see here, these, these are wood shavings. These are not breaking down very quickly at all. There's another one crawling out right here. 
So I'm just trying to get these bugs here before they make a mess. But I think what we're going to do to kind of maybe help this system out a little bit is I think we're going to add some dolomite. We did that on one of our other systems, and it really did seem to help with our issues and some of the issues in the system, I feel. Like it just seemed to help break up the material a little bit more, kind of make it where it's not so compacted. And then we're also going to add a little bit of neem cake as a kind of a food for the worms to kind of keep this system going because I need them to finish off these last shavings. So first off, I'm going to grab my dolomite here. And if you look down below, I do have links to a lot of these materials. I'm really hopeful that this will kind of kill off some of these things. We're going to put a lot of dolomite in here. But this is the packaging right here, if you can see. Let me wait for that to adjust. But this is the packaging right here. This is dolomite. I ordered this off of Amazon. And I do have a mask on for this. You should always, when you're working with this stuff, have masks on. And we're going to spread this on very, very heavy here. I'm seeing more and more of these bugs come out now. And I don't know if this needs to be dry to work or not, but we're going to kind of mix this in here. I'm hoping that this will break up the, the material, but then also help kind of just make it a little bit healthier. As I said, I kind of did this in one of my other systems, and it seemed to really kind of help. Uh, I think it was the African, uh, no, sorry, the... Uh, the other hamster bedding system, I seemed to, to do this, I let it dry out a little bit and everything seemed to just get better with it. Now, the other thing I really want to add to this system is something that they can kind of chew on as a food source. So we're going to add some neem cake. Now, I'm really just using this because I'm trying to get rid of it, but this is the packaging that I have. Um, I don't feel this is a necessary item at all for worm bins, but as I said, I'm just trying to, to kind of use up what I have in here. So we're going to this is sort of a food source, a really kind of a gourmet food source, but it's already very granular, which is good for the, you know, to make it where it's uh, easy to work on for the worms. We're just going to kind of mix that in here like this. Now, the one thing I don't know is I don't know if this needs any moisture or not, but we're going to kind of mix this, this neem cake in here. This is going to get them hopefully a little bit more excited about the food, but like, you see this right here? This is not, that's not the way that food should, or this material should look. It's just way too... It's not, it's, it's not flaking apart into little tiny pieces. So we're going to do that. Kind of break this up some more. And actually, I think we might add a little bit more. Actually, before we do that, I think we are going to add just a little bit of moisture. It just seems like it's a little bit dry in here. So I'm going to grab... Hold on here just a second. I'm going to grab some of my water with BTI mix. And just sprinkle just a little bit on the top here. Just very little. Like that. And then I think what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit more dolomite to this mix. Again, I still have my mask on. We're just going to spr sprinkle this on top. Just like that, nice and heavy. Hopefully that's focusing. I'm closing up the dolomite. The neem cake container that I have doesn't close anymore. It seems to just always stay open every time I close it. So I'm not too worried about that. But hopefully this, and then I think what we're going to do here is I'm going to grab the, uh, the top to this. We're going to leave the dolomite just like that on top. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this sort of caddy corner as I did in the other system, sort of like this. It's going to allow a lot more airflow, so it's going to dry it out a little bit more. But at the same time, actually, you know what? I don't, know, I don't know if this is too dry or not. I'm going to put it on normally, but maybe we'll put it more to one side. Just to leave a little bit larger of a gap here at this top section. And hopefully that'll help it like kind of try out a little bit, but also hopefully maybe we can get rid of these bugs. That's my whole goal right now is to try to get rid of these bugs. This is going to have to go outside probably right away as soon as I do any type of harvesting with it or try to separate the worms out. But that's what we're trying to do with this system. This system is going to be, uh, it's done for its intended purpose here. Actually, let me do one more thing here. Let me pull this up. We're going to go ahead and cover up that 6-1 date with a 6-15. And we'll take off this last fed date. We don't need that anymore on there. And we're going to go ahead and wrap up this system. But we'll keep the, uh, the reds going for a little longer. But I think we're done for the African night crawlers with the hamster bedding. And we're going to move these on to hopefully another system or something else that they'll be working on. So... 
With that, thank you for watching. Again, I do have Amazon links down below and also some affiliate links if you're looking to purchase African Nightcrawlers like in here or, or European or Reds. And uh, I really appreciate it if you use, use those links when you're making a purchase. Thank you for watching. And please, if you have any comments, leave them down below.